Hey guys, Jay here and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a Fujifilm X-Series lens tier list for street photography. Now, before I begin, there's a couple of things that I do wanna stress. This is for Fujifilm X-Series lenses only. It is a very subjective tier list. Everything that I say is my opinions alone. If you do not like the things that I say, definitely go ahead and make a tier list of your own. I'll include a link to the tier list uh, down below so you guys can, I don't know, make a video on it or just create one and then send it to me. I wanna stress that I haven't used the majority of these lenses. So with that in mind, I won't be talking about things such as like image quality or sharpness or you know those things when it comes to these lenses. I'm just gonna go on based off of what I know about these lenses and uh, uh, I'm gonna focus more on, you know, things such as weight, uh, size, um, price, uh, focus speed, and stuff like that. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and jump into the tier list. So we're gonna start off with the zoom lenses first, and then we're gonna make our way down the focal length, and then we're going to move on to the primes. So starting off, we've got the 100 to 400 millimeter f 4.5 to 5.6 r lm ois wr that's a big mouthful and what <laughs> what's also big about this lens is the size now 100 to 400 millimeters man that's that is a very unrealistic focal length range to be shooting street photography at. Uh, if you're treating humans more like animals and you're treating the streets more like a savanna, then maybe I can see the use of this lens, but um, for the size alone and the focal length, uh, in practice, it is not very good. So I'm going to move the 100 to 400 millimeter into the D tier for street photography. Next up is the 70 to 300 millimeters. Again, it's a big chunky lens. I don't recommend this lens for street photography at all. Maybe at 70 millimeters, but again, it, the size of this lens and the weight of this lens, you just really don't want to carry this around for street photography. D tier, moving on, is the 50 to 200 millimeter F3.5 to 4.8R. I own this lens and uh, I wanna say you can use this for street photography, but it's not ideal. It is on the lighter side. Uh, I wouldn't say it's portable at all. And I would say that if you are using this lens in public, people are going to notice you, especially if you zoom into the 200 millimeter focal length range, people are gonna see it. It's gonna extend all the way out from your camera. This is by no means a heavy lens, but when it comes to uh, heft when comparing with other lenses in this list, it is pretty heavy. So I would not recommend this lens for street photography, but it is better than the other two that I've just mentioned. So I might slot it into the C tier. XC 50 millimeter to 230 millimeter. This is an XC lens. And the thing, the problem with XC lenses is that they don't have uh, an aperture ring. And so that immediately makes it a little less intuitive than the X series lenses. And they're also kind of built more cheaply than the X series lenses. They don't have a metal body. It's more plastic than metal. But that being said, having that construction makes it a lot lighter. And if you don't really care for an, uh, an aperture ring, then this lens definitely makes it more portable and it's more compact than the super telephoto lenses on this list. So if you're the kind of person who does like compression or does like shooting at a long distances, this lens is definitely a lot better than the other ones. But again, it's not very ideal for the street. This kind of focal length too far for me, in my personal opinion. So I'm gonna move this down to the C tier as well. Okay, the next lens, the 50 to 140 millimeter f2.8 R LM SWR, it's a fat, chunky lens and it is heavy. So instantly down into the detail. 18 to 135 millimeter though, uh, it, it is viable uh, for a street photography lens. It, it has a very good focal length range. So if you're someone who is unsure about what kind of focal length you like to take in street photography, I think this lens is a great beginner lens to use. Moving along is the 18 to 135 millimeter. Now this lens, 
is interesting because it's it's a great lens to use for a beginner because if you're unsure about what focal length that you want to commit to this is a great introduction lens so you can walk around with this lens and take photos at various focal lengths and then find the right focal length for you but as a permanent street photography lens that you can use long term i wouldn't recommend it too much because again at the 135 millimeter range the length of the lens is just really really long the size is just not ideal i'm going to put it into b tier because it's viable but it's not perfect by any means 16 to 80 millimeter f4 r again the the size of this lens makes it so that it is not ideal for street photography it's a lot better than the more super telephoto ones like the 50 to 200 or the I don't know, the 70 to 300, and it's a good spread in terms of focal length. But again, the size of this lens makes it so that it's not ideal for street photography. You can use it for a few hours, but then after that, you're really gonna feel the weight, especially if you're carrying a camera such as the X-T4, the X-T3. Yeah, the, the weight adds up. I'm gonna put it into the B tier. Next up is the 16 to 55 millimeter F 2.8R LMWR. Now this lens is interesting because you can go from wide to telephoto, no problem. And it's got a good aperture value. And I, from what I've heard, it's got fantastic image quality, but it's, it's heavy, it's heavy. It's one of those premium Fuji X series lenses. And with that premium, you're gonna get more glass, more everything, and that all adds up, right? And so the weight is no bueno. I'm going to put it into C tier. The next one is the 18 to 55 millimeter f2.8 to f4. And this is Fujifilm's you know, kit lens. I'd say this lens is great for street photography. It's got a good uh, focal length spread. It's lightweight. When fully extended, it is a lot shorter than the other lenses that I've currently talked about. The only downside to this lens is that it doesn't have like a dedicated aperture ring. So, you know, you can't see the aperture value on the lens itself. But I think this as a zoom lens is probably the most ideal. It, it, it has the perfect balance in terms of portability and size and price and you know just image quality in general. So I'm gonna put this into the A tier. Next up is the XC 16 to 50 millimeter F3.5 to 5.6. This lens is a lot lighter. It's a lot more cheaply built. I could also see this as a viable option for street photography. It does lose out on the aperture when compared to the 18 to 55, but I think it's pretty good. I think if you, you're okay with that and you don't wanna to pay too much for a lens, the XC is fine. So it's going into the B tier. Next up, the XC 15 to 45 millimeter. Again, the, these two lenses are kind of similar. I don't see too much of a difference between the two. So I'm also gonna slot it into the B tier. Next up, the 10 to 24 millimeter F4. Uh, we're going into the wider end now. 10 to 24 is a very, the longer end of the this lens is an ideal focal length in my personal opinion, but the 10 millimeter end is a bit too wide. So if I were to use this lens on the streets, I would be constantly using it at the longer end. And it's not the smallest lens in the world and the aperture value isn't very uh, low. It's f4, which, you know, isn't a problem if you're shooting in broad daylight, but uh, for low light, it's, it's not perfect. It's usable though, so I'm going to put it into the B tier. Price is average for a wide angle zoom. It's pretty average, so into the B tier it goes. Next up is the eight to 16 millimeter f2.8 R. This is a very unrealistic focal length. We're talking about street photography, plus this lens is another red badge, so it's very premium quality, very hefty lens as well. So I wouldn't consider this lens to be usable on the streets. So I would slot this into the D tier. Okay, now we've covered the zoom lenses. Let's move on to the uh, prime lenses. So the first prime lens we're gonna talk about is the 200 millimeter F2R LMOISWR. It's a big chungus lens. Like this is a fat lens and plus it's white. So everyone's gonna see it if you have it on your camera. You're not gonna feel good using this lens for more than, I don't know, 30 minutes on the street. In general, it's, it's a terrible lens for street photography. Don't use it. 
detail. Next is the 90 millimeter F2R. This lens is okay. The focal length is not perfect for me, but I can see a lot of people who like that compression. This would be a viable lens to use on the streets. Fast focusing price, pretty decent. I would put it into the C tier personally, but it could also be in the B tier as well if you like using this lens. Again, it's, it's pretty big, so C tier, it goes. 80 millimeter F 2.8 R macro. It's a very unique lens. You can use it as a macro like it's intended to be, but you can also use it, you know, as a, as a normal lens. But the fact that it's so expensive because of the fact that it's a macro lens, it's not practical for a street photography lens. I'd rather pay that much money for two other lenses that's on the list than buy this one lens. And it's an 80 millimeter range. It, it's just a weird lens to use on the streets, right? If you're not using it for macro, it's not really doing its purpose. So for that, I'm gonna put it into the D tier. The 60 millimeter F 2.4 macro, this is a more usable focal length when it comes to street photography. But again, it's a macro lens. And for the price, you could probably get something better and more suited for the street. Yeah, for that reason alone, it's a bit better than the 80 millimeter, but not as good as the other ones on the list. I'm gonna put it into C tier. 56 millimeter F 1.2 R. I have this lens. It's great for low light. It's fantastic for low light. If you're shooting street photography at night and you wanna take your time, this is a great lens. But that being said, this is a very slow lens. It's one of the first lenses that came out for the X system and um, it's really starting to show its age in terms of autofocus. If you're doing fast paced, candid street photography, this is not a great lens to use. It's, uh, it's, it's slow, it's a little bit clunky, it misses focus quite often. I wouldn't recommend this lens at all for street photography. It's usable for certain situations, but it's not ideal for many situations. For that reason, I'm gonna move it into the C tier. 56 millimeter, this is the APD version. I would also put it into the C tier because it's pretty much the same thing. Next up though, is the 50 millimeter F2 RWR. If we're talking about this kind of telephoto range, the 85, 75 millimeter focal range, this would be the ideal lens to use for that focus range. It is compact, it is relatively cheap, and it is weather resistant and it is fast focusing. So this lens, I would recommend highly if you are somebody who likes that focal length, it's going into the S tier. Now I don't own this lens. I'm interested in trying this lens out, but from the reviews that I've seen, looking at the specs of it, I can already see that this lens is a phenomenal lens. Well, that being said, the next lens is the 50 millimeter F 1.0. RWR, this was released recently. And if we're talking strictly street photography, it's, it's a no bueno. It's big, it's girthy, it's chunky, it's heavy. It's got fantastic aperture. Like the you, shooting this in low light is going to be phenomenal. The bokeh is gonna be mad, but yeah, I don't see myself using this lens for street photography. You know, that, that glass is so big, the front element is so big that you point it at anyone and they're gonna notice. So, D tier, absolute D tier. Next up is the 35 millimeter F 1.4 R. This lens is uh, another one of Fujifilm's earlier lenses. It does start to show its age um, in terms of focus speed and all that. But if you have it on a modern Fujifilm camera with better AF performance, this lens can be used. And the fact that it has a lower aperture value means it's more valuable for low light situations. And people have claimed that this lens has a certain sort of magic look to it, which I, I don't know because I've never used it. And the 35 millimeter focal length is kind of, we're, we're getting into that focal length range where it's ideal, right? 35 is like a 50 millimeter equivalent. This lens is ideal for the streets. It's a nifty 50, it's f1.4, relatively okay focus speed. It's got an aperture ring. I'm gonna move it into the A tier. Next up is the 35 millimeter F2 variant. And this lens is what I would define as the perfect street photography lens for everyone. It's a nifty 50, it's an F2, it is compact, it is cheap. The build quality is amazing. It's got weather resistance. There's really nothing I can say about this lens that's bad for street photography. 
And the focal length is perfect, right? For everyone. You can be a telephoto person and you can appreciate the 35. You can be a wide angle shooter and you can still appreciate the 35. It's just a very solid focal length, very solid price and performance. So this is going straight into the S tier. If I had to recommend one lens for any street photographer on the X system, it would have to be the 35 F2. Next up is the 35 millimeter F2, but the XC variant, the only difference is, you know, it's a lesser build quality and it doesn't have weather resistance and it loses the aperture ring. But if you're okay with this, this lens is definitely a phenomenal lens for the price. It's one of the cheapest. It is the cheapest 35 millimeter lens on the X system. I would put this into A tier. Don't sleep on this lens. If you're on a budget, but you want good image quality, you want that 50 millimeter field of view, this is the lens to look out for. Moving along, we have the 27 millimeter F 2.8 R W R. Uh, 27 millimeters is uh, kind of like a, a 40 millimeter equivalent, close to 40 millimeter, in between 50 and 40, right? This lens, if you like that focal length, it's a bit wider than the 50, but a bit more telephoto than the 35. If you like that focal length, then this is the perfect lens for you. It's a, it's pretty pancake too. It's very flat, very portable, very lightweight. Uh, I would put this into the S tier. 23 millimeter F 1.4 R, another earlier Fujifilm lens. It is okay for low light. It has fantastic image quality, but it might be a little bit slow on the focusing and, and it costs quite a bit as well in terms of a prime, but you're definitely paying it for the image quality and the aperture value. So for that, I'm going to put it into the A tier. Next up is the 23 millimeter F2, another one of Fujifilm's F2 compact uh, lenses. And this lens is phenomenal. This lens is fast. It's more compact than the F 1.4 variant. It's cheap for what it is, and it has an aperture ring and it's weather resistant. So it's going into the S tier again. Next up is the 18 millimeter F 1.4 R. This is, I think a recent lens that just, that was just released. It's a pretty big lens. Yes, it's got the uh, extra stop of light, um, the F 1.4. Yes, it's got more modern um, motors inside. So it will focus very well, but in terms of size and weight, I would put this into the B tier. When it comes to street photography, you want to be as mobile and as portable and as discreet as possible. And the size of this prime is just not it. 18 millimeter F2, however, this is a lens that I can get behind. This is a very small lens, a very pancake lens. And if you like the 27 millimeter focal length, this would be the perfect lens for you. I'm not a 28 millimeter shooter, but I can see the appeal of this lens. So for that, I'm going to put it into mm, the S tier or the A tier. A tier for me, but S tier if you do like that focal length. Next one is the 16 millimeter F 1.4. Uh, a lot of people say that this lens in terms of image quality is probably the one of the best that Fujifilm has ever made. For me, I don't see the appeal of 24 millimeters. For that, I, I don't really care for this lens too much when it comes to street photography. You definitely could shoot this in low light. You know, there's a lot of capability for this lens if you like that focal length. For me, I do not. So I'm going to put it into the C tier. Moving on, the 16 millimeter F 2.8 RWR. This is significantly better than the 1.4 when you're talking about weight and size. Super compact, super fast focusing as well. Personally, not a big fan of this focal length. So I'm going to put it into you know the A tier. I can see the practicality of this lens, but for me, the focal length is just not it. You can put it into S tier if you're the kind of person who likes shooting this focal length, but for me, A tier. Last of all, we've got the 14 millimeter F 2.8 R. Now the 14 millimeter focal length is kind of a bit too wide for my liking. It's got solid build quality. It's not super big, but it's not small compared to the other, you know, F 2.8s that I've just talked about. It's a little bit on the old side in terms of manufacturing date. So I don't know how the focus speed would uh, perform on this lens. I'm gonna put it into B tier 
but if you're a fan of this focal length, I can see it being in either the A tier or even the S tier. You know, if you really like this focal length. But for me, I'm gonna put this into the B tier. If you're new to the Fujifilm system and you want to use these lenses for street photography, check out my tier list. I think a lot of people would agree with me when it comes to this, my, my rankings. Um, it's a good place to start at least. I would say if you're a zoom shooter, definitely just stick to using your kit lens for a while until you find out the kind of perfect focal length for you. If you're a prime shooter, I would definitely recommend the 35 millimeter F2 to start out with or the 23 millimeter, depending on which field of view you prefer. But at the end of the day, hey, any focal length can be used for street photography. I'm not here to tell you what to use. You do you. And with that being said, guys, have a great day. My name is Jay and until next time.